Welcome to an FJ News special report. We're only almost a week late reporting on a story that truly affects all of us. Ellen DeGeneres' return to TV and her apology for the many allegations made against her and her staff. Today we will be analyzing her apology to demonstrate how not to make an apology. Ellen begins by acknowledging the allegations of her show being a toxic work environment, saying, I learned that things happened here that never should have happened. While that may be true that she learned things happened, she is phrasing things in such a way as to remove herself from direct culpability. She only learned about it. I take that very seriously and I want to say I am so sorry to the people who were affected. She follows it up with a direct apology to those affected, which is admirable, and she takes responsibility for what happens on the show, saying, My name is there, my name is there, my name is on underwear, <laughs> and today we are starting a new chapter. This might just be me, but the clapping undercuts the sincerity a little bit. Like, woo, no more toxic work environment, yeah. In the same way, it'd be like, woo, yeah. Interview with some random actor from a TV show, yeah. Then Ellen brings it back to the allegations that she herself was mean to people. There were also articles in the press and on social media that said that I am not who I appear to be on TV because I became known as the Be Kind Lady. I started saying be kind to one another after a young man named Tyler Clemente took his own life. People said, I'm not who I appear to be, whatever that means. Then she's like, guess where the Be Kind Lady moniker came from, jerks? It's because a kid died. While her story may be true, it is clouding the actual allegations against her that she was mean. She's also trying to say, I'm not the be kind lady because I myself am kind. It's just because I think we should all try to be kind to one another because someone died, which is not the worst explanation in the world. It actually makes a lot of sense. But the problem is when you are apologizing, Explanations often sound like attempts to avoid responsibility. I am that person that you see on TV. I am also a lot of other things. I, sometimes I get sad, I get mad, I, I get anxious, I get frustrated, I get impatient. She's only human. And it is good that she admits that she is flawed and working on it. Who isn't, after all? But she still never said, yup, I was mean to people. I'm sorry. As she goes on, I think she makes one of the biggest mistakes you can make in an apology. And if I've ever let someone down, if I've ever hurt their feelings, I am so sorry for that. When apologizing, don't say the word if. This is the first time she has apologized for her own actions, which in fairness, I have only heard about third hand, so what do I know? But by using if, she is saying, did I do it? I'm not sure. If I did, sorry. If I didn't, not sorry. I have let myself down and I've hurt myself as well. Also, bringing it back to how much it hurt her that other people are hurt is not a good move. A sincere apology should express remorse, certainly, but shouldn't suggest that the hurt the victim feels is equivalent to the hurt the offending party feels. It's a way of saying, I've suffered just as much as you have, so you can't get too mad at me. Then she goes on to say the world is in bad shape right now. People are losing their jobs. People are losing loved ones to a pandemic. It's a way of putting into perspective what she allegedly did in comparison to a pandemic and social unrest, which when you do that, yeah, who cares what Ellen did? To be honest with you, I couldn't care less. But the thing is, when you're apologizing, even for something small, don't try to mitigate what you did by pointing out how it pales in comparison to something much, much worse. I'm sorry I made you feel like a piece of garbage by the way I treated you, but hey, people are losing their jobs and their lives. Ultimately, Ellen's apology was a bit too logical and methodical, which I think undercuts the sincerity. She didn't say anything obviously untrue, but worded things in such a way to avoid any real admission of wrongdoing. I think Ellen was too worried about further damage to her be kind persona, which ironically led to an apology, which probably undercuts the persona more so than if she had just said, yeah, I was a jerk to people. That was wrong but I've learned my lesson. Check out this FJ News video next. Hit like as I am monitoring the analytics closely and until next Sunday, have a good week. Are you still there? There's, there's nothing else to watch, this is it.